Yo, yo. I say, yo. I say, yo. What's good? I say, yo. What the hell was that? What's good, YouTube? We back. We back. We finally back. We're back streaming, uploading. Because why? WW2K23 is now out. And we got nothing but non-stop content to be made so we back in full effect but look guys i wanted to get straight into today's video as you guys can see we're literally on ww 2 k 23 there's a lot of different things that i want to show you guys but i wanted to key in on the five most important things about this game mode um just off of day one of playing it now i streamed for three hours got to play the game um the gameplay is still great guys it's a literal polished version in terms of gameplay of what ww2k22 was and the gameplay is perfect like the gameplay is literally perfect can't complain about it but now we have to get into everything else um one thing that i do want to dive into really quickly guys is the graphics and this is something that popped out to me um right away and usually nowadays in games like in this 1080p era or whatever you want to call it hd era 2160 era whatever um the quality of the games have pretty much has all been good but you never really see like an increase and this year i can say like even guys look at the card art on these cards like the card art looks insane maybe it might be a little bit because you know these two cards right here do come from the pre-order pack when you get the icon edition or the deluxe edition um you know you end up getting these cards um more so the icon i know you get both of them but the deluxe you probably only get the bad bunny i'm not sure y'all can break that down but yeah overall point um the graphics do look great so I, that's like a i want to call that um a honorable mention is what i'll call it um in terms of you know what what's been good with the game so far even the packs obviously i don't have any packs right now to open but the pack opening animations is pretty cool to see too. So let's get into the five most important things about, you know, what's new inside of WWE 2K23, my faction. First things first, guys, you wanna go to the live events. So live events, leap into limited time special events with unique challenges and rewards. They did not have this in, um, you know, my faction last year. This is gonna be cool. Um, it's something that they'll always update. Obviously, as the year goes on, the rewards will get better. And I can guarantee that for you guys, you know, going forward, what I will show y'all. But it definitely will get a whole lot better. Um, then they have the upcoming rewards. We don't, you know, upcoming, we can't play that yet. But this is cool. Nothing too crazy. Um, you know, you can view the details or whatever. Nothing too crazy. But it's something that's going to help the longevity of the game, which I said last year, we needed things added to the game that would add longevity so next thing guys you want to go into proving grounds now this is going to be something very very important that i want you guys to realize now i know when you scroll through and you look through the proving grounds what the hell was that you kind of see that chapter five you get a ruby rock and you guys know how it was last year in proving grounds where you got a 94 overall diamond stone cold steve austin um you were able to get a diamond sasha banks you were able to get an amethyst roman reigns you were able to get an amethyst um bianca belair to my knowledge if i can remember correctly and then it was a ruby finn balor so yeah the rewards were clearly set for the entirety of the year but the difference this year is that it will be updated i can guarantee you guys that this year it will be updated you guys can see right there they already added live events something that's going to take them you know require them to update the game um and then in terms of uh proven grounds you really think that 2k would sit there and give us uh chapter 5 ruby rock and that's it for the entire year like a rock card that's not that great 82 overall rubies it's not the highest tier in the game you guys can look underneath chapter 5 and see that there's a blank panel right there for a reason guys they wouldn't do that if they weren't gonna you know update the you know update proving grounds as the year went on so best believe proving grounds will be getting updated so that's the next thing in order we could call it number four number five whatever you call it number four not in no particular order but just you know the five things and I gave you guys an honorable mention at the beginning of the video. So next up, we got Faction Wars, guys. Now, Faction Wars, you guys remember last year, 500 wins was a cap out. And um, you were able to get a Diamond Undertaker. There was a lot of different rewards you were able to get. 
um, within the 500 wins. But if you scroll through right here, guys, you guys can see right now the rewards don't look good at all. They really don't. And we'll just keep scrolling through to see how many wins we can get to. Because last year you were able to get to 500 wins. Now this year we have to see how many wins we can get to. And uh, we keep going. The cards are not that great at all. Biggie Langston. Uh, not Langston, but just Biggie. Um, and we keep going to see how... Oh, so look, guys. Another addition to the game. Faction Wars is guaranteed to get updated, guys. Guaranteed to get updated. Um, I know some people are probably looking like, whoa, what's going on? 101 wins. But, guys, this only proves that they will 100% be updating Faction Wars as the game goes along, which is great. It's a great addition because we know what happened last year. They allowed everybody to just play all the way to the finish. Um, and it wasn't it wasn't worth it because in the end, the longevity of the game was just gone because everybody already beat the game in a quick, you know, in a quick, quick fashion. So the fact that it's only capped out at 101 wins is great because that means, we're, you know, we're definitely going to be getting an update on Faction Wars. So that's another great thing next up we got quick play guys now if you guys don't know what quick, quick play is it's pretty simple guys jump into the ring and compete against others players in friendly matches that update each season guys we also have seasons so quick play and seasons all you know this all plays in together but look guys we finally have seasons remember i was calling for seasons last year we have seasons so what's gonna happen is every single time that they update the season every 17 days what's gonna happen is we're gonna get new matches whether it's extreme rules it's gonna be crazy insane it's gonna be lit it's gonna be a lot a lot of fun i do have a gameplay coming for you guys with my first online gameplay so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but yeah just that alone it's gonna add more longevity to the game because why we have an online mode and we don't have to just sit here and play ais all day in proven grounds or fashion wars we actually have the ability to play people online now obviously we have to wait for the updates but it's better than nothing it's better than not having um, the online mode so that's great and last but not least guys what i want to touch on to is the token mark you guys this is the last thing i want to touch on to and guys as you can see right here we have a new tier of cards i told you guys last year that they were going to do this we no longer have you know diamond being the highest tier we now have pink diamond so that just means more cards that means more rewards and it means that the game's gonna get updated once again as you guys can see it says coming soon we're not allowed to view any cards from the token market even if you go over to headquarters head to your collection go to rewards and you go over to the token market rewards you're not able to see anything else other than just emeralds and sapphire so um that's cool um you know it's cool it shows once again guys it's more proof that clearly obviously the game is going to be updated and that's something that we weren't seeing last year like i was you know we only could make educated guesses which ended up only being wrong because you know it was the first time that they tried out my faction and then it's, it's kind of like getting your feet wet they kind of say it as a saying you kind of want to get your feet wet and you go from there but yeah guys that's the most important things i've noticed about um ww 2k23 my faction obviously the gameplay like i said is pretty much the same the only thing now is it's not as easy to get submissions you have to work a little bit harder um and also sometimes if you know you have people in a submission they can reverse you even if they have you know even if you have them in a deeper submission so it's a little bit more difficult um but nothing nothing too crazy guys like the game's still great um and they the fact that they're gonna be actually willingly updating the game are updating the mode throughout the year it's it's gonna be lit guys it's gonna be a lot of content to be dropped a lot you know a lot of great things coming so make sure y'all stay tuned do me a favor it's pretty simple drop a like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see y'all in the next video man peace gang they cannot do it like him uh-huh nobody's shooting like him